Welcome back to another episode of Anime Tales, a free-to-play perspective. And guys, look what I found. A devil fruit has been spotted under a tree. And we have claimed ourselves the light fruit. It's been placed in your artifacts inventory. Eat it to get the transformation. Awesome. An elemental type devil fruit that allows the user to create, control, and transform into light at will. Turning the user into a light human. Om nom nom nom. Enter Minecraft munch and sounds here. With that guys, we have obtained a new devil fruit. Real quick, let's check the banners. Featured banners, it looks like you might be able to get Itachi and Deku now. Super cool. Let's see if I can get lucky and get any of them. Got a Rimuru. Just kidding, we're going for what we're all excited for. The transformation. Oh, I can't even do it yet. Let's go over and punch people at Skyland real quick. I suppose we can roll some more. Ooh, a Kilua star fragment. Shiny fragment, there's the term I was looking for. So today I've been kind of experimenting with um, this new ability, the Crow Dash. So you dash through people and then it causes some burn damage. I think it's going to be real useful for people trying to run away when they get low health. But is it worth using one of your five ability powers for it? That's the new management, is getting all these abilities and figuring out which five to use. Me personally, I love this one. So wonderful. And I assume it's going to fit the theme of my new light freak. As in like fruit battlegrounds or most of the time in One Piece for example. I think that the Admirable is known for what like a mirror kick. You can reflect, jump up super high into the ground and then smash down. And then he also have, has one that's called like um, Rain of Jewels or something like that. Jewels of Light. Where it just essentially... Like Gatling guns the ground. And if I had to guess, I think that's going to be what our new transformation is about. Last episode, we got to rank 13, realized that we need one quadrillion power for everything. And we are not quite there yet. About 520 trillion strength. We've been knocked off the leaderboard. People are always grinding it. Today, we are focusing on energy. The last one that we still remain on, I believe. You guys are grinding up quick, so good job. We're number 28 at this point. It's ironic, because originally I had planned on maining defense and sword, but now it looks like defense is my lowest out of the three, coming in at 271 trillion. Anyways, let me get these last few. Oh, I can go through multiple people. I really like that. I thought it was one and done. Come on, just fill up my transformation bar. I want to check out my new thing. There we go. Let's do a showcase of the light fruit real quick. Really? Okay, one more. Okay, just start glowing. Let's see what happens. What's happening? Holy crap. Yep, there's Mirror Kick. I knew it. Oh, that's going to be awesome for PvP. That's pretty much what I'm already doing with my combo of Flash Step Brush. What's this one? Yep, Jewels of Life. I was just sticking to, like, what's known about the Devil Fruit, so I'm excited about that. So Jewels of Light isn't going to be that much power, that strong, but it's going to be a good AoE. And this, and the Mirror Kick, I bet that's going to be a really big single hit. Exciting. I don't know if the, um... Punching bonuses is going to be better than the Dark Grimoire that I was using before. But that's pretty cool to check out. Because usually I'll do that combo and then knock them up with the Flash Step Barrage. So if I can do that and then Mirror Kick them while I'm midair, that would be even cooler. 
So all I really did is I ran around Cake Island and got unlucky in finding the fruit, but then I went to Marine Ford and found it on the back side. So I guess the best way to do it is probably just find a public server and run around looking up under all the trees. All right, well, Oh, I could have jumped in and done a boss real quick. Three minutes. Let's keep on doing some summons and... Sorry, real quick, I was checking the announcements on the Discord server. Just so you guys know, if you want to know what Discord server I'm in, I'm literally in the Anime Tales Discord server. Where I've been keeping my eye and staying vigilant for the new updates and whatnot, so I don't lose too much training. And what was I looking for? By the way, there is a new code called. Devil, no capitals, fruits. I think I redeemed it earlier, but devil fruits, no capitals, no spaces. Devil fruits, just like that. All right. I'm sure you guys also saw Kelvin's new video about Pebble Lee. So we put in Pebble Lee, I think that's a code. I guess I could put it in here just so that way you know. Pebble Lee. Oh. Apparently, I don't know. Go and watch Kelvin's new video. What else have we got going on? If you guys don't know where the Pone Glyphs spawn, I guess I can help you with that. First off, there's... I don't know if anyone need any help with any of the training spots around here. I really prefer this game over the old version of it because the map is very drawn out and it's not just sitting at spawn. I'm appreciative of that. Really, I'm just killing time so we fight Big Mom right now. Let's go and check out the Anel shop and see how we are doing towards buying any of the cool equipment or accessories. By the way, here's where we're at on our battle pass. I think I've completed all my dailies for now, and I'm kind of working on weekly slowly. Um, I'm really excited to get a new sword. If you guys, I got Meliodas's blade handle here, which is going to be called Dragon Handle, and it gives a 60% 60 times training boost. So that's pretty cool. It's a cosmetic. You can equip it over your actual equipped sword with mechanics and stats. Here is a Nell's trading boss shop. And by the way, I finally figured out, if you want to look at how many coins you have, you go to the bosses page. By the way, your mom is hot. Anyways, and on the bottom left, you can see how much you have. Like for your mama, I got 1,500, Kaido 1,100, and now only 400. So I doubt we'll be able to purchase anything. We could purchase a crap ton of coins, a god staff, a cento, Sky cleats. See that what I really want is those god drums. They look cool. Abilities I don't really care for. I only have five anyways. I either need a new weapon skin or some new accessories. But hey, we're finally getting boss drops as we do more damage, so it's exciting. Let's go and queue against your mama and see how we're doing. I'm not even going to bring anything besides spirit boost and heal. It's really all you need. Oh, we can try our new um, devil fruit ability against her. I guess let's charge that up a little bit. Come to me, angry AI. Face your death. I think that my range is actually lowered with this handle a little bit. But it's 
worth it for the weapon training boost. Luckily, I'm not really fighting with my sword most of the time as a Goku skin. Speaking of, let's see if we... Oh, never mind. I was going to roll again real quick. Let's just fight your mama. Oh, they must have fixed the... Oh, I forgot I finally turned down the in-game settings. I was wondering why I wasn't burning my ear holes out. Well, put away the sword. There we go. Actually, I don't even have my right skin for fighting. I'm using the whole wrong skin. If my Nazi's still a five-star. Not to light my good one. Alright, let's get her to raise. There it is. Just a flex on her. Let's do some push-ups and fire. Alright. Wait for her to do a double flash. See how much health is she at? About 7,000? Alright. We're gonna test this out, guys. Fully charged mirror kick. Alright, what's she at? 6,700. Alright, not great for bosses there so far. I feel like that one's gonna be really good for PvP. Hopefully this is another story. 6,700. Only did another 100. Alright, light fruit, not great for bosses so far. But luckily, I'm awesome. We don't need to worry too much, because she's going down. Boom. That's where we're at, guys. Rank 13. Feeling a little bit confident, but I'm waiting to get into the arena and get humbled once more. You know how it is. Real quick, let's check these arena powers and see what the new setups are. Spirit counter. Counters any mid to close range attack with an overwhelming amount of spirit energy. That sounds awesome. You know what? Oh, what did I delete on accident? Nothing, it just won't let me do it. Alright. Let's try our luck in an arena match. Uh, we have a devil fruit and my... Actually, I don't think those are allowed. Oh yeah, they are. Maybe it will give us the edge that we need. P.S. Make sure you put on the right skin and the right accessories for fighting. Apparently my UI is broken, or I noticed lately today I'm having some trouble sometimes that can easily be fixed. Oops, with a reset. I must have ruined the queue right now, but that's all right because I still need to equip our right things. And let's try once more. Uh-oh. There we go. Yeah, I like Raven Dash for getting around. Look at that. I need beat up before I go into the arena by an AI. Dash punch. Oh, well, there's an anti magic grimoire if anyone needs that. We've already gained one. I like that one, how it increases your sword damage and changes your sword. But it did feel a little bit slower. So in the long run, I felt like it was too many cons to utilize. There's 
detail they have on there. Oh, it's just black. I was hoping there would be a five leaf clover. That's probably a big like um, copyright or branding of black clover though. They're smart to just leave it a black bud. Anyways, um, out of all the new devil fruits, I'm probably most interested in the ice. I always lean more towards probably water or ice elemental stuff. I think there's magma, ice, and light. Earlier we fought someone with a magma fruit, and it seems like he can shoot a whole bunch of magma fists, and then he has an eruption type move. That's exciting. And then I haven't seen the ice yet. Just like throw his hands up when I walk near. And another devil fruit's been spotted under a tree. Wait, do I hold out for this arena? Let's cancel it. Wait a second, and we'll queue again. In the meantime, just run around and look under trees for devil fruits. And do some summons while we're hanging out. Yeah, there's lots of c things I could be doing that I'm not doing. We could be getting citizen essence, we could be getting wood. There's always something to do in this game. Depends on how much time you want to put into it. trees, you can make new boats and upgrade your fishing poles. I assume later there's going to be stuff that we need from fishing. Fortunately, that's not really my niche. I haven't jumped onto it yet, so whatever awards I'm missing out on, I'm sure I will come to find out and be bummed at that time. Like Zaphios, I said something. Zaphios, Zaphios. Acer will rule. Acer will rule. Fear us. Don't know why I'm tripping over my enunciation. And on that, let's see. Acer, number nine. Cool. I haven't looked at the dichotomy of guilds yet. But I'm really surprised nobody's doing arena. Let's try a different approach. It looks like you have to leave the menu and then requeue up. Got it. Meanwhile, teleport to Cake Island. That punch scared me. Alright, punch the dummy. There's a lot of trees on Cake Island. We'll start with the inner area and work out an outer ring. Huh. I wonder what the most productive way to look through all these trees and islands is. from the big mob shop. I guess we'll do this as kind of just a shop showcase. We can go check out Kaido too real quick. As long as we don't get summoned into something. So we have what, like 1500? Oh wow, Prometheus and the hat were worth 12,000. We are way ahead in that sense. Out of these, I think the last thing that I want, well besides maybe a new weapon skin, would probably be King's Aura. I like that one for PvP as it stuns and it's got a big AoE range. Ooh, I wondered, can I get hurt? So I think you get hurt for being a Devil Fruit user by water, obviously, because that's the whole lore of it. And, um, but it looks like they added the what word am I looking for? Stipulation? I guess we'll go with that for now. The, um, yeah, I'm really missing my adjectives. The compromise that you do get hurt when you're only, only when you're transformed. Because right now, 
water walk. And if I can go in the water without getting hurt. But I bet that if we transformed, we wouldn't be able to. I guess let's do that and run over to Kaido. Where are the AI? I need to up my ability essence. I said the wrong word. I need to up my transformation bar. There we go. Okay, so that aggro's all of them. That's kind of cool. It's really good. It's going to be good for um, citizen farming. For sure. Apologize, Karen. I had to take extreme measures. You were stereotyped. Oh boy. I need to find a quicker way of doing this. <laughs> Not teleporting backwards. Oh, look at that jump. on Kaido's Island, but I don't think there's any, um... What's the word I'm looking for? AI. So instead, let's go show off Kaido, and then we'll go to Skypea, and maybe get lucky with a tree there. Any more devil fruits? Can they spawn under the pink trees? I guess pink trees are trees as well. Well, it looks like a Someone's discovered a grimoire now. So Kaido's shop looks like he can get his curse sword, a dragon club, his skin, thunder strike, heat breath barrage. We got both of the both of those. Ooh, he has a cloak. That looks really cool. Hang on, let me put a twist on it. <clears throat> Let's read this monologue. Made from the fur of the previous dragon emperor. It can withstand fires of any temperature, and it is said to weigh around 5,000 kilograms. All right, buddy. It's going to be like Rock Lee. He takes off his cloak, and then it just dents the ground, and all of a sudden he's moving faster than you can see. That's pretty entertaining. Oh, wow, look at that. Really, Enma or some giant sword right there. I never noticed that before. Looks like Zoro's the god of death, and that's the cutter of heaven, right? Has to be. Alright, back to the transformation test on water. Go to Skypea. It's always interesting trying to record videos because you can have so many bullet points and things things that you want to talk about and like the moment you start recording your brain just goes dumb so turn into a series of people running around and experiencing this game but hey that's why it's called a perspective welcome to mine all right what was my theory there's no water for me to test up here let's just get this transformation bar Set up and then go back to Marine HQ. And I might die. Transform. Yeah, I am taking damage. Okay, that's super cool. You know what? I have to show you guys where, oh, uh, because I'm taking damage, I can't teleport. Uh, I guess I'll do it after the boss fight. Do I have my bossing abilities ready? Yes, I do. Although, if no darkness grimoire, I may be at a, at a disadvantage. Let's see if the new Angel's Grace ability can carry me. What level is this? Oh, it's only a level one. Let's see if we humble and embarrass ourselves, or if we can carry our pride that we've worked so hard for. Yeah, 
across your arm. Moment of self-reflection. Anyways. You're going down, big guy. With your 5,000 pound cape. 5,000 kilograms. My apologies. Tantrum. I think Kaido's easier to beat than Big Mom, honestly. I can't really see her cross pattern a lot of time, but him is just like, alright, stay out of the big circles and stay out of his slash attack. Besides that, you should be alright. Flash attack will get you real close sometimes, but now with this, I can just be like, oh, I'm a raven. And with that, that's how you get yourself a shiny Dragon Emperor Shard. Now, real quick while we're here, I've shown you guys where the Skypea Pone Glyph is, or the Beanstalk one, my apologies. Oh, I can't use my abilities again for some reason. Alright, well, hopefully I can show you. The other Pone Glyph is right... There's one of them right over there. This one is called the Ark. And then the last one is over in that secret tunnel. Or underground cave. Let me find out what the exact term is. Oh, now I can use abilities. Sweet. And it is called... The Sacred Cave. Yeah, so the cave. So there's the cave, the beanstalk, and the Ark. Three pwned glyphs, you break all three, and after that, the boss to Anel will open for 30 seconds. Fortunately, I don't think we have to do anything with him right now. The only thing I have left to do is weekly quest. And, well, ten of them are him, but I'm not doing that farm lately. I think I'm more focusing on that stat grind. want to get up to rank, or one quadrillion and everything, so that way we can get to rank 14. Especially after finding out about all these brand new player traits. Look at that energy regen, max energy, life leech, extra damage, gain bounty for rank 8, and then at rank 14 I just got health regen and 10% max health, which is going to be a big boost. Oh, so I just have passive health regen, huh? I wonder if I can be like. If I can just maximize that to heal more passively than you could do damage, just be a tank. That would be awesome. Alright guys, well, I guess that's another episode of Anime Tales. Free to play perspective. My name is Jake in the Bushes. Keep on getting your stack grind. By the way, they added auto clicker up here, which is super cool. Looks like it's a bit slow, but hey. Beats trying to get a third party software. Especially if you're on iOS or whatever you're limited to. So, benefits for the free-to-players out there. Super awesome. You guys have a good day. Be understanding. Be kind to each other. Try and make someone's day. See you later.